When out on sunny days, I'll scan the ground, letting my eyes drift over rocks and sticks, hoping to find Habernatus, a super diverse genus of jumping spiders. Here's a beautiful female Habernatus orbis. And beautiful as she is, it's not the females I'm going to talk about today, but the males who have fantastic ornaments to impress the females with fancy faces, palps, first legs, and an extra long and sometimes ornamented third pair of legs. In a genus of over a hundred species, one stands out. Exceptionally handsome, Habernatus americanus, the red, white, and blue beast of the American West. As I'm no longer out west, I've often dreamt of what it'd be like to search for and observe these spiders in person, and to shoot them in situ. Well, in the summer of 2022, good luck came my way. I was able to travel to southern Montana to co-instruct a bugshot macro workshop. This would bring me within range of Habernatus Americanus and hopefully to a good spot to find them. Once on the ground, I was struck by the beauty of this area. It really was a privilege to visit and explore this part of the country. The workshop was held at the historic Yellowstone Bighorn Research Association, or YBRA and I somehow lucked out and got this cabin to myself. A welcome to retreat after a long day of travel. Early the next morning I was eager to head down for breakfast, see the camp a little bit, and finally start exploring the grounds for spiders. Now, I don't have a lot of advice on how to look for jumping spiders, other than just looking for them visually. I don't collect, breed, or buy any animals, uh, preferring to observe and shoot them in situ. As for Habernatus hunting, I just scan the ground on sunny days, and I often find it helpful to target pale sticks or rocks, as it'll be easier to spot the Habernatus against a pale or uncomplicated background. If they're down on soil or among heavily textured material, they can be almost invisible unless they're moving. See here, the movement of this female stands out against a sun-bleached stick. This beautiful female Habernatus americanus was one of the first salticids I spotted on this trip, and she seemed to stick close to this one lichenous rock, content to camp in one spot and focus on hunting. Here she is enjoying one of many flies she caught. This find was promising, where there's females, there should be males, so I kept hunting. Rains came that afternoon, dampening my hopes of finding a male that day. But the storms didn't last long, and the sun returned by sunset. And the next morning, in between talks, I finally found a male, just resting on top of a stick on the ground. What an amazing spider. Metallic blue scales across the clippius, green eyes, red palps and legs. 
an absolute dream to see in the wild. And before long, I found a few more. As before, I was able to spot these males as they move across pale sticks in the sun, making the silhouettes of their tiny bodies easier to see. And almost just as the thought was forming that maybe Habernatus has a preference for sticks, and what a good stage for courtship they must be, I spotted a male displaying to a female on a nearby stick. Habernatus males have elaborate, complex courtship displays, where the male locks eyes with the female and dances, wiggling and shaking palps, legs, and more. Um, even singing a multi-part escalating song by rubbing his body together, creating seismic vibrations felt by the female through the substrate. His desperate attempts were broken up by a wandering formica ant. Males will display to just about any female they see, while females are a bit more picky, driving sexual selection and ultimately the diversification of this genus. This is also a risky time for the male, as the larger female may prefer to eat him if not impressed by his displays. Before long, I was able to get the portrait I was hoping for. Subtle differences between this Montana male and an individual from the Wallawas in Oregon. Some populations can look wildly different, and I've only shot a few of the Habernatus out there. If you're interested in the diversity of Habernatus at all, or if you'd like to see a bunch of beautiful photos, check out Marshall Hadeen's amazing observations on iNaturalist. Of course, I photographed other jumping spiders as well, including this massive Phytopus borealis found by a workshop attendee. It's always exciting to photograph a new Phytopus species, even if I missed the focus on her eyes a little bit. Another attendee brought me this Maratus peacock spider bandai gacha toy, which I only just now got to putting together, years later. Kind of like the Habernatus of Australia, males of this genus are wildly colorful and ornamented for courtship, with these unbelievable flaps on the abdomen that fan out. In a way, I'd been preparing for this workshop for years. From preparing my PowerPoint to include Habernatus Americanus, to going back and modifying an old lino cut print I'd done years ago. Adding color to it and adapting it into a workshop t-shirt. If you'd like to support this channel, check out my shirt page for more arachnid designs I've done.
I can remember poring over images and descriptions of Western Habernatus back in the 2000s, amazed by the diversity, so many wonderful forms and colors, thinking how amazing it'd be to go out and see these animals in the field, but I never really imagined it to be a possibility. I would not have been able to see and shoot many of these amazing Habernatus without the help of many people in labs who were generous enough to share their knowledge, specimens, locations, and time with me. Marshall Hedin, seen in this video, Wayne Madison, Damien Elias, Madeline Girard. Thank you. Many more, too. Uh, I've got links and references in the description. As a little postscript here at the end, this spring, while walking a local trail, I looked down and saw a fantastic Habernatus decorous male looking back up at me. This guy is unique in that his abdomen is his fanciest part, like pink rose gold glittering in the sun, covered in thousands of tiny metallic scales. Although his face is quite handsome too, with a clippius covered in subtle deep blue scales. I hope you all look for spiders in your area, and next time you're out on a sunny day, keep your eyes peeled for Habernatus. Thank you.